Now, once again, we're talking about leftovers because I've got some salady things that are left over. I've got a couple of things still. I've got some beans there, which I have blanched because I had a few of those. And we've got carrots, cucumber, tomatoes, spring onions, and some beautiful breakfast radishes. Once again, I've got those. I've, I made a lovely big garden salad, so I had a whole lot of things left over. And I've got some celery here, which I'll sort out. But this is a crudité plate, which is a French classic. And when you go to those French bistros also, actually I'm telling fibs here, when you used to go to those French bistros, they used to come to the table and they'd cut all the vegetables to order. And they were absolutely beautiful, but they've sort of gone out of fashion, or they seem to have stopped doing it. Maybe it's too much like hard work. But I remember coming back from France one year when I had a restaurant in Collingwood called Clichy. And I put crudités on and they were highly popular, but you did have to do the veggies very much to order. And then everyone started doing the same thing, you know, became very popular around town. But they didn't do the veggies to order. They really didn't. And it sort of wasn't the same because they were stale. They'd been sitting in the fridge for three days. I'm exaggerating a little. But anyway, crudité, just some nice fresh vegetables which you've cut to order. And as I said, mainly it, it is a, a raw vegetable dish. But if you've got a few things like you've got some baby potatoes or something left over, use those. As I said, I had some green beans and some of these lovely butter beans. My daughter was very impressed by the butter beans. She'd never seen them before. And I said to her, her grandfather used to grow them all the time. They were his favorites. So they're nice beans. Anyway, she enjoyed them very, very much. So I've just blanched these very briefly and I'm gonna put them on my crudité plate, which as I said, is full of some really nice, fresh, squeaky clean veggies. So we've got our beans there. We've got, I've got some celery on there. All right, and what I've also got here is a little bit of capsicum. So I won't put too much of that, but it's just nice color. But take out all the stalks, please. When I say the stalks, the seeds, and all those kind of things. So we'll get rid of those. And we'll just cut them into some slices. We want a nice dipper, so I'm going to make a blue cheese dipper. So I've got a soft blue cheese there, and I make plenty of it because I just bought a wedge. Now, if I don't use that wedge, you know what will happen. It'll be sitting in the fridge. And to that, I add some buttermilk. And we also add some sour cream. It's a good dollop of sour cream. Some black pepper and some lemon juice. And do taste this once you've mashed it all together. You know, you don't want it too strong because I'm going to serve wine with it. So you don't want the blue cheese to sort of knock your tops off, knock your tops off, knock your socks off. Right, so let's just mash that. I did say that I just bought a nice soft blue cheese, didn't I? You don't want anything really hard. I mean, if you'd sold your house recently and you made a lot of money, you could buy Gorgonzola. Otherwise, just buy a nice Australian blue cheese. But a nice soft one, you don't want, you don't want anything too strong. And we're just going to mash it up, just like that. And that's just as a dipper in the centre. Look, you could, you could use almost anything. You could use nice mustardy vinaigrette in there, if you wanted to. But I like the idea of blue cheese. Put that in the centre and everyone can just help themselves. And when I say everyone, this is certainly not for one person, but you can do it for one. You know, if you've just got a few veggies left over from your salads and things like that, and try not to drop it on your beans. But this is just a, when people are sitting around having a nice drink, this works really well and I'll have a little taste. Mmm, that's good. Am I gonna tell you it's not good? Can you imagine, excuse me, I'll just wipe my mouth. Can you imagine a chef on television tasting something and spitting it and say, that tastes like rubbish. Of course they don't, but this actually does taste really good. A Sauvignon Blanc could go really well with this, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, which has got enough spice in it to handle the blue cheese, because you need something with a bit of warmth for that blue cheese. And there we go, crudité with a lovely Sauvignon Blanc. 
And what I meant to say to you, and I, I completely forgot while I was making that, is the fact is I've got a, quite a large container of buttermilk. Now, please don't waste it because what I want you to do is either make some soda bread, which is the easiest bread you'd ever make in your life, and I'll show you on another day, and I'll also show you a lovely ranch dressing, which is one of my very favourite salad dressing. That's to use your leftover buttermilk. All right? Good onion.